I have a whole lot, a lot of Morphe products to show you guys and to create this look with today. Hi friends, thanks so much for stopping by and spending a little bit of your time with me. We are going to be trying quite a few Morphe products. I have been wanting to try these products for a long time because I have tried their shadows before, but I've really never tried any of their other products. Now, this is not going to be at the end. I'm gonna show you a wear test because I am moving. My life is super crazy right now. I don't know where I will be in about six hours to 10 hours. I could be at my other house. I could be back at this one. So I'll tell you what I will do though. I will give you my thoughts down below on how this wore throughout the day. So we're going to create this look. I actually really like how this look turned out. I hope that you do too. If you want to see how I did this with mostly Morphe products, I do have a few products in here that I didn't pick up from Morphe, so you know that, but most of it is Morphe. Let's get into the video so you can see how I did create this look. Okay, so what I didn't have for Morphe was a color corrector. I went ahead and did some color correcting and actually I'm trying to film two videos at once right now. I did use the P. Louise base for my primer. I did get this from Morphe as well. It did a great job of canceling out all of the discoloration that I have on my eyes. And we are going to use the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic Palette. I there went the little plastic thing. I really like this palette a lot. I love the color scheme of it. I think that you could get countless looks out of this. It's just so pretty. And a lot of you had asked me about my last eye look that I had, and I think I can recreate it with this palette. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that today. The difference for my last look is going to be that I'm going to put this Morphe pencil into my waterline. These are like $5. I've never even noticed them before. The color is called Harper, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put it in my waterline. It's a beautiful cornflower blue. So it's light, it's not gonna give me darkness in my waterline, and it goes on fairly well, but it's kind of bright and kind of pretty. I'm gonna be starting off with a fluffy transition brush. Brush. This is a 227 from Zoeva, and I am going to be starting off with this peach color right here. I'm not using the tape today, I'm doing freehand because I just want it to be a very soft look. Just going right there above my crease, that is where your transition should go. And I have a lot of wrinkles right in here that if I'm not careful will get all folded up with that eyeshadow. So I don't raise my eye like this because when I lower it then I'm gonna see that crinkle. So I'm just going in there into that area. When I have that built up, I'll go to the other eye. This brush right here is an E18 from Morphe. It's very short and it's very dense. And it's what I'm going to use to lay down the deepening color on my outer V. And I haven't really thought about where I'm even gonna go yet. Let's keep the look cool. Let's go in with this kind of a khaki brown color. Doesn't have any green in it, so I shouldn't say khaki. It's just a very cool toned brown. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in this corner where I want that to stop, where I want that color to stop and I'm just going to push that color and wiggle it into the corner. And I'm just going to make sure that that corner gets saturated. I'm not going up into the crease. I'm not going around anywhere, you know, back and forth. I'm only pushing that color to lay it down. Don't try to lay too much down. I know it looks like it's skipping around right there, but I promise you it's not. If you put too much in there, it's gonna get too dark and you don't want that. Working with much smaller brushes really does help you keep your look precise instead of having it get away with you. You know, you need a fluffy brush to blend things, but the precision comes in using these little brushes where we can lay things down and not have them go all over the place. And I think that's really important. Next, I'm using the 203 brush from BK Beauty. I know a lot of you are gonna ask me, is BK Beauty worth the price? Is those kinds of expensive, more expensive brushes? I personally don't think they're super expensive when you look at brushes like Reefer, I'm sorry, Refer, and um, Wayne Goss, uh, Sonia, K, Sonia G. I think that really, if you invest in them one time, a brush like this you're gonna have forever. And they have really great discounts a lot of times. So if you want to get on their mailing list or just check out their Instagram and be on their feed with that. I'm going to now take a tiny bit of this green right here. Now this is a shimmer metallic. 
beautiful color, but I'm gonna barely dip into it. And then I'm gonna place it right next to the brown. Now that I got it on here, it's actually quite pretty because not only does it have that green, it has a shift of brown in it, so it's a duochrome. Okay, because of that, I'm just gonna go into this matte green right here a little bit, just to get a little bit more green on there. I really wanted it to show up the green. All right, now I'm taking a clean Luxie 231 brush and I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna take that color and I'm just going to buff all these colors together. The transition color, I'm not coming up too far because I don't want that um, crease color to get away from me. I'm just buffing all of these colors together and you can see I'm kind of just staying right down there, not going very far. And then on the lid, I am going to take this silver kind of taupe color right here on my finger and you guys have seen me do this before. I'm gonna spray it with a tiny bit of setting spray, just a little tiny bit. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to lay it down towards that last color we used and bringing it over top of that last color to blend the two together. Now I don't know if you can see it or not, but that has transitioned across the lid and it just makes a really pretty look across the lid and it softens your darker colors that are right there. I don't bring it all the way out. I would say I come about two thirds to three quarters of the way out before hitting that dark outer V color. Now one more time, I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to do just a little bit more buffing to bring that dark color a little bit more into the crease, just a tiny bit. So I did pick up a brow kit from Morphe and this one is in hazelnut. It does come with a Morphe M158 brush. This brush is dual ended. It has the spoolie on one end and then it has a really micro fine um, tip here where it's just an angled liner brush. And then it comes with the highlighter, brow highlighter. I'm not crazy about this color because it's very, very yellow. I probably will just use that as a base sometime. It's creamy and it feels nice. I just wish that it was in a little bit different color. And then in that kit, there is also this pencil and this is called micro brow pencil. And again, it's in hazelnut. So you get the spoolie on this end and then you get that micro fine tip on this end. You get a brow setter gel and this is just clear. This wand is a little bit too big for me. I'm not real super crazy about that wand. And then you get the pot of the actual gel that you can use and um, with that brush that they gave you. So disclaimer, I forgot to disclaimer this. I do have a shaking in my hands that is a palsy. It is a familial tremor, which means that it is inherited. It's also something that has been um, accumulating through the years. It has been aggravated by some medication that I was taking. And so it's pretty pronounced, especially when I'm doing tutorials, it shows up. I don't know why so much more. I'm not nervous. It just does show up. So please bear with me. If you haven't heard that before, if you have heard it before, bear with me even more that that's what happens to me. All right, so I'm going to take this pencil and I'm just going to work it through my brows. You guys have seen me do my brows before. It's hard for me to do my brows on camera because of my tremor. So I will try to get this one framed in and then I'll do the other one off of camera. If you want to see me do my brows, I do have a video where I go completely through it and I'll make sure that I link that for you. So far, this is a really good color for me, maybe a tad bit too light. Um, I love working with these micro fine um, tips though. For me and my shaking hands and the way that you know everything happens for me, it works really well. I will show you just a quick demonstration of the little pot or the gel that they have in here. This one is where it gets a little bit tricky for me, but I will try for you guys. That gel is super saturated, which is really nice, but I find that I have to use a super light touch to get it to not look like it's just gotten too dark and too out of hand too quickly. So I will use that brush to kind of widen my eyebrows at the over here at the inner part just kind of touch all of my eyebrow hair. I think I like the color of the gel or the pot better than I do the pencil. So it does a really good job. And then lastly, I will show you just the clear gel. There's, 
it's not a lot not a big deal but i just put a little bit of that clear gel to hold those in place and it does hold them really well into place the other thing that i didn't get was a liquid liner to go across my top lash line i'd like to tight line so i'm just going to use that brow pencil or not pencil the brow brush and i'm going to use it in this black color right here and i'm just going to go across my um, lash line really tight with it for mascara, I chose to try the Morphe Make It Big Mascara. This is kind of odd. This brush is so weird. It looks like it. the bristles are twisted, so there's like little bristles and then bigger bristles and little bristles anyway i do you know work this off a little bit because it feels like it or looks like it's a tiny bit goopy yeah it's kind of surprising to me that i do like it after seeing the brush and then after you know using it once and you know trying to um, not get too much on in the beginning but it does kind of just work i don't know even how to say it other than it just does work so it gives some definition. The bristles are a natural bristle brush. It's not plastic. It gives some definition right off the bat and is picking up all of those hairs or eyelashes and is really coating each individual one, which I really like. Is it the best one I've ever used? I would say no, but it does stay on all day and it didn't smudge or flake on me, which I really like. And I really like the way that it really gave a lot of volume and a lot of length so it's not my favorite but it's not the worst either so the next thing we're going to try is the morphe this is the filter effect soft focus foundation mine is in medium 12. i do feel like it's a tiny bit too light for me and i'm gonna put just a dropper full not a dropper full two drops of this nyx that is the dark that helps foundations be different a different color and this one just happens to help it be a little bit darker so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna dot this all over all right so this is one coat of that foundation from morphe and we will see how it covers so working that in that is one pump of it and it's really done a good job of covering everything. I actually really do like it. I do have a little bit of breakthrough right through here. I, that's normal for me. And I'm going to put a little bit more on my decollete. So I will dot this in the troublesome areas. And I am bringing it up underneath my eyes. I've done that lately as an um, extra concealer trick just to pat away everything and mix it all together and i'm finding that i don't have to use as much concealer and i love that and then for concealer i'm using the morphe 2 hide and peak concealer this is supposed to be like a light to medium coverage but so far i found it to be quite nice it is just regular doe foot applicator and the color is just a kind of a bright kind of peachy yellow and it's a really good color for me so as you can see i used a very very small amount i'm barely dotting in that corner right there i'm not putting this anywhere else and i am just going to go ahead and i'm going to put put it there and i'm going to put it on the edge and then i'm going to connect the two like i said this is not a full coverage it's going on very lightly and it's covering up beautifully I, this is not an emollient concealer at all it's not a thick concealer at all it's very thin consistency and this is the you know the second one the second dot that i put on there i would definitely say that this is light to medium coverage this is not a full coverage if you need a thicker one you might want to look into that it's setting down quite quickly which i really do like about it another thing that i don't have from them is any sort of a powder so I'm just going to take my Becca powder and I'm going to put it on my big brush that I got from Ulta and I'm going to set those under eyes. I have gotten into the habit of setting my under eyes with powder, you guys, but only because it's this Becca powder. And this brush deposits such a light amount that I can go across it and make it look perfected without it ever looking cakey at all. I didn't get contour or bronzer either. I'm using the beautiful Danessa Myricks. Um, this is her contour and I'm just using it on a big fan brush and I'm gonna use it to contour a little bit and warm up my face some.
I almost forgot my inner corner highlight. I will just go into this bone color right here. I've been really enjoying having a flat matte, either bone color or white color as an inner highlight. I feel like it just brightens things up without giving more glitter in that area. So I've been enjoying that a lot. After my bronzer is laid down, this is a stackable, um, this is called Pink Please. I don't ex I don't remember what the stack is called, but I'll, I'll put it up here on the screen. This one is, um, it's got your highlighter and it's got a blush in there. It has the lip balm, which I will put a little tiny bit of that on right now while I am getting ready for a lipstick. It feels so good. That balm feels so good. And then down here, it has like a gloss. So this is kind of a cream product. It's a gloss that will go across your cheeks for a highlighter as well. So I'm going to start out with using this highlighter underneath my blush. This is a fan brush I've had forever, but I will link for you another fan brush so that you can see. I'm just putting this underneath my blush to illuminate my blush just a tiny bit. I have this Morphe blush, this cream one, so I might use this one underneath the other one. And let me find out what the color is on this too. I hate being blind, FYP. And so this is a cream product and it's a pretty color. This is kind of a rosy color. I'm using my angled stipple brush from It Cosmetics. And to pick that up, this does so good with any cream product. I love this brush. Ooh, that's tinted. Woo, I picked up too much. Let me wipe off just a tiny bit onto my rag here real quick. Okay, there we go. Now it's going to just blend in beautifully. I had just a little bit too much. So that's very pigmented. So a little bit goes a long ways. And that is pretty. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty blush? That's a beautiful blush. That is just such a pretty blush. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cream balm that's down there. This is used for a highlight, but you don't wanna put it on before. You want it to make your um, cheeks look really glowy and dewy, and that's what they're going for. So I'm using, this is the 108 brush from BK Beauty. It's a tiny, precise little brush that I really like, and it will pick up this cream product really well. And I'm just going to pick that up. And I really want you guys to see what this is going to do because it really does a pretty glow on the skin. It's not going to make a highlighted look. What it's going to do is it's going to make a glowy look. This has a tiny bit of a tint in it. It's just kind of a light pink tint to it. It's not really got any color to it. But what it's going to do when it gets on your skin it just makes such a nice highlight. It's not even a normal highlight that you see when you put highlight under your blush or anything like that. It's a glow to your skin because it is that balmy product. And I think it's really pretty. And I really think it's something special. I love this. That whole, those quads, I think there's a purple one, a nude one, a coral one. They have a bunch of them. And I was looking at getting some more of them because I just think they're so pretty. Oh my goodness, I just think that is absolutely gorgeous. I was gonna put a little bit of this color of blush on the top, but I've got enough on right now. I think I'm gonna just stop there before I look like a clown. This little brush right here is one of my trade secret favorite brushes. This is an M168 from Morphe. This little brush is so fine and so dense that it doesn't deposit too much down on your eyes. And what I want to do is I want to give just a little bit of definition out here on my outer eye now that we have all the other stuff. And I'm going to use this purple. I normally wouldn't do that, but I want to use it because I put that blue a little bit into that waterline. And so I want to kind of blend those together and show those together. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm using a very small amount and I'm just barely going to go out here. I'm not going to take this completely across. I'm just barely on that outside right there using a little bit. Hopefully you can see that little added, added bit. It just added a tiny bit of dimension right here. Made my eyes look a little bit more lifted, a little bit more defined out there. It's really pretty. I'm going to put some bottom lashes on, but not with that Morphe one because I don't have enough control with it. This is my ride or die for my bottom lashes. You guys have seen it a million times. It's the benefit. They're real. I'm going to put this on my bottom lash line. Now for lips, they also had a trio of lips. I think this is the one that is um, 
it might be pink nude i will make sure i link it for it list it and link it for you below but it comes with a liner a lipstick and a lip gloss and so i'm kind of excited to try these but it's a very orangey looking color this is not a color that i would normally wear I don't like corals. This looks very orange and it said pink. Nice consistency. It went on really smoothly, really nice. I'm just not crazy about the color. And then uh, again, this is the lipstick. Not me normally, but kind of a nice change. Very nudie coral color. And then this is the lip gloss. By the way, the lipstick is a creamy formula. It feels very creamy, but it is a matte formula or it sets down as a matte. And then the lip gloss on top. Oh, I think the lip gloss just saved it. I always love lip gloss. You guys know I'm such a lip gloss girl. If I'm being honest with you, I'm going to eventually go and I'm going to change this coral or this nude coral out because it's just one that I probably would not get along with very well. But I'll tell you what might be fun is I'm going to put my finger in that balm that went on the cheeks and I'm going to tap this in the middle to just make it a little bit brighter. Oh, look, that just that just did it oh wow that just made it look so much better because it's dimensional now instead of just being all three of those the same color so i think if i was going to order again the lip products i like all of them they actually all felt really good on my lips um i think if i was going to order again i would order different colors because i do like a dimensional look on my lips because my lips are smaller putting a darker lip liner and then um, a lighter lipstick and an even lighter lip gloss really helps make my lips look a little bit bigger so i probably probably would do that that way and so this is the final look on that i hope that you did enjoy seeing a bunch of morphe products in action i enjoyed bringing this to you and i love you for sticking with me i just appreciate all of your time with me and your comments and everything love you guys so very much please take care of yourselves and i will catch you all in my next video have a good week or weekend bye friends